Hi everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I am going to explain some of the important problems in vectors. Problem number one. Show that a is equal to 4ax minus 2ay minus az and b is equal to ax plus 4ay minus 4az are perpendicular. So if two vectors are perpendicular means the angle between two vectors equal to 90 degree. If we consider the dot product when we get the dot product equal to 0 if we substitute theta equal to 90 degree we get the dot product equal to 0. So here also you have to find out a dot b. If a dot b equal to 0, we can say that both the vectors are perpendicular. So a dot b is 4 into 1 minus 2 into 4 minus of minus 4 that is equal to 0. So we can say that both the vectors a and b are in perpendicular. Next, I am going to explain problem 2. Given a is equal to 2ax plus 4ay and b is equal to 6ay minus 4a is it. Find the smaller angle between a and b using the cross product and dot product. So first of all, we are going to find out the smaller angle using cross product. Next find out using dot product. The cross product is a into b. Using the matrix form you have to write ax, ay, az all are unit vectors. Then you have to write the coefficient of unit vectors for the vector a 2, 4 and 0 and next for vector b 0, 6 and minus 4. So ax of minus 16 minus 0 minus ay of minus 8 minus 0 minus the plus a is set of minus plus 12 minus 0. So minus 16 ax plus 8 ay plus 12 a is set. Since a cross b magnitude is a b sin theta. So first of all you are by, find out the magnitude of a cross b. Already a cross b is known. From the a cross b find out the magnitude. So minus 16 square plus 8 square plus 12 square. That is equal to 21.54. Next find out the magnitude of a. The square root of 2 square plus 4 square that is 4.47. Next find out the magnitude of B. Square root of 6 square plus minus 4 the whole square. 7.21. So from the equation A sin theta equal to A cross B magnitude divided by a magnitude into B magnitude. Now substitute the values 21.54, 4.47 into 7.21 that gives the answer 0.068. But what is our question? Find the smaller angle between A and B. So you have to find out theta. What is theta? Theta is sine inverse of 0.068 that is 41.9 degree. So this is cross product. We are going to see dot product. So first we have to find out a dot b. 2 into 0, 4 into 6 and 0 into minus 4. The answer is 2. Next find out cos theta. Cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by a vector magnitude and magnitude of b vector. 
So 24 divided by 4.47 into 7.21. So what is the answer? 0 0.745. But we should find out the angle. So theta equal, equal to cos inverse of 0 0.0745 that is 41.9 degree. So both the methods we get the same answer only. Next problem 3. Given f is equal to y minus 1 in the ax plus 2x in the ay. Find the vector at 2, 2, 1 and its projection on b where b is equal to 5ax minus ay plus 2a is it. So here the points of f vector given x, y, z are 2, 2, 1. In this equation you have to substitute y is equal to 2 and x also 2. So the answer is ax plus 4ay. What's the question? Projection of f on b. So see the diagram. Here the direction of B vector. This one is the direction of F vector. First of all, I am going to draw the perpendicular line from L. Okay. Perpendicular line means the line that makes the angle 90 degree with OM. So this is the perpendicular line. So here our aim is to find out projection of, F, projection of F on B. So here what is OM? OM is a projection of F on B. For finding out OM, what I have to do? Find out cos theta. Cos theta is the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is F, F vector magnitude. Okay, next, using the dot product, tell me the equation. So, what is the dot product? A dot B A dot B is equal to A B, A B cos theta. So, this is the dot product AB cos theta. So, from this, what is F dot B? F dot B is projection of F on B into the B vector. So, projection, on, projection of F on B in the B vector magnitude. From this equation, what is the projection of F on B? That is F dot B divided by B vector magnitude. What is F dot B? 1 into 5 plus 4 into minus 1 plus 0 into 2. The whole divided by square root of 30. Square root of 30 is the magnitude of B vector. That is equal to 1 divided by equal to what? 5 minus 4 that is 1. 1 divided by square root of 30. So this is the answer for projection of F on vector B. Next we are going to see the next problem. Given a vector equal to x plus ay, b is equal to x plus 2a z and c is equal to 2ay plus a z. Find a dot b cross c and compare it with a cross b dot c. So first of all, what is this a dot b cross c and a cross b dot c? This is known as scalar triple product. Okay, first we are going to find out A dot B cross C. So, which operation we have to do first? That is the cross operation. So, first we have to take B cross C. 
and put the value cx cy is put the coefficient for b and c and then find out the equation so b cross c is minus 4ax minus ay plus 2a is z then what is a dot b cross c so then take a dot product so 1 into minus 4 plus 1 into minus 1 plus 0 into 2 that is equal to minus 5 and next we are going to see a cross b dot c so first of all we are going to find out a cross b then we have to find out the dot product so what is a cross b a cross b is put all the unit vector then put the coefficient then find out a cross b afterwards here find out the dot product we get the answer a cross b dot c that is also 5 both the answers are same so in the scalar triple product we get the same answer parentheses are not needed in the scalar triple product since it has meaning only when the cross product is taken first in general it can be shown that a dot b cross c we can written as a x a y e z b x b y b z c x c y c this is a simple way of find out the scalar triple product value as long as the vector appear in the same cyclic order the result is same but the cyclic order is changed the result is result having having same magnitude but opposite in the sign opposite direction that's all so in the next class i will upload some of the problems regarding coulomb's law keep on watching have a nice day